Hey guys, I just got home from work and we are making chicken tonight. Well, we're making chicken and a lot of other things. But in this video, we are going to be talking soda can chicken. And if you have never made it, it is amazing. I recommend that you guys try this. It gives you the most moist and juicy chicken you have ever had in your life. Chicken. Look at that. Look how drippy and juicy that is. <laughs> if you do say so yourself. No, no. I wanted to thank Tanji and Amanda for inviting me to collab with them in the Frugal Family Food Group on Facebook. And the links to their channels as well as that Facebook group are down below. That Facebook group is amazing. There are so many awesome people. I think they have like 8,000 people there. And anytime you need an idea, you just go on and say, Hey, I have chicken. What kind of ideas do you guys have that are frugal for chicken? It's fantastic. I cannot tell you how awesome that group is. I love participating in it. So June is grilling month and I'm going to show you our soda can chicken recipe. Check out next week's video. It's going to be life in farmland is going to be cooking, grilling up something amazing. I can't wait. And I will actually go ahead and put the links to all the other channels down below in the description box that are participating in grilling month and a link to the playlist of all the frugal family food videos from the beginning of time. There's a lot of them. So if you're ever looking for a recipe, this is a great resource. I will warn you, we have a lot of gadgets in our house for grilling. You don't have to have them. First things first, let's get that fire started and get to cooking. Now, when it comes to ingredients, this recipe is simple. All of the spices and ingredients, you can actually use anything you want. And if you want to use an injector, great. If you don't, I'll be perfectly honest with you, the chicken just with the soda can comes out amazingly juicy, but the injector just kicks it up a notch, but you don't have to use that. And let me let you know a little secret. You can actually do this in the oven. 300 degrees for a really long time, like an hour and a half, depending on the size of the chicken. So let's just jump on to the ingredients list. The first thing you're gonna need is some sort of injector liquid. We use Butcher Barbecue Bird Rotisserie when we're making our chicken. It's fantastic, it is exactly what you want, but you can use pretty much anything, water, apple juice, chicken stock. You don't even have to inject. But if you want to, you can. And you can add herbs to your injection, just make sure they're super fine so they go through the needle. Salt, pepper, you know, anything you want, whatever flavors you like. For today's video, we are going to be using the, in, the injector marinade with chicken stock instead of water because that just, it amps up the chicken taste. How can you go wrong? So then this is the injector we're going to use. You're going to use chicken stock to fill your cans because it'll evaporate off. It adds a chickeny flavor, which, you know, it's chicken. It should have a chicken flavor. We are gonna use a roaster chicken. Now you can use a fryer chicken, a roaster chicken, whatever kind of chicken you want. You just need a whole chicken. And of course you need to take out the guts out of the inside if they're in there. We are going to be making a couple of chickens today, one to eat and one for me to use in my lunches and Mauricio's lunches during the week and probably my parents' lunches too, because it's a big chicken. And, and then you're going to take any soda can that you want, and you're obviously going to get rid of the soda. You could probably use the soda as a liquid base. Never tried that. I'm sure it's good. Um, you mostly just need a liquid in the can, and you're gonna fill up the can to about half to three quarters of the way. This will keep, the juice in the can is going to keep the interior of the chicken very very juicy and it will keep, prevent the chicken from drying out as you're cooking it. And then you're going to use your seasonings. Now in this particular recipe, we are using Don Julio seasoning and the Killer Hog AP rub. 
the AP obviously being all purpose. Now that we've got the ingredients down, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. If you are having trouble with Mauricio's accent, I will um, put on the closed captions for this. So go ahead and go turn on your closed captions if you are someone who has trouble understanding accents or my husband, the low talker. Did you ever see that episode from Seinfeld? My husband's a low talker. It's super annoying. I don't understand him half the time because he mumbles all the time. So, go ahead and turn on those closed captions. So. Today we're making a chicken stock canned chicken. What we need is a chicken, <laughs> whole chicken. Some of my very good stuff. Talk, I'll talk about this later. Of course the chicken stock. Ah, uh, some butcher barbecue injection stuff. I'll, I'll talk to you guys as, I, as I'm making this thing. Injector, but this is like, can you imagine getting an injection with this? It's like a CIA injection kind of thing, if you know what I mean. So first off, uh, we have our chicken over here. Oh, we gotta get this stuff out. So what we're gonna do is use some uh, basic, like, um, all purpose seasoning, which is just basically salt and pepper. You just spread it really with the one size first, okay? So now, this Don Julius, a friend of mine, really good friend of mine, he's, he's a good cook. Pancho, as Siri calls him, uh, recommended this. It's Don Julio seasoning. This thing is amazing. I use it for everything chicken, beef, pork, veggies, eggs. You call it so we just put a good very good yeah. coat. really 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 good for those of you who live in texas don julio's i'm sure you already know about it it's pretty common and pretty cheap down there we have it shipped through amazon to us it over and then we use the all purpose position again. Cool. And then we use our awesome. You just use whatever you like, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. But, um, okay. So you see, that's a really, lot of seasoning. Believe me, and watch, you see the hole over here. Put some more right there, there you go. Okay, so uh, next step is the injection. So what I use is this butcher barbecue. Basically, the, uh, you can use it for, I mean, everything. I mean, chicken, pork, uh, steak, you call it. But um, you, you, go, you go by the recipe, it says, I use chicken stock. It's just better, okay? And I don't measure, I just pour it. I don't use that, you know, it's kind of silly. It's just like that right there, you see? Two cups. Mix it up. Okay. So what you do is just inject it throughout the, 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 the chicken, you know, you start with the, the tights over here. Inje inject the whole chicken, you know what I mean? And my wife gave me this for what Christmas? Father's Day, Christmas. Father's Day, I can't uh, remember. Birthday. Birthday. No. <laughs> little by little. So, turn out this baby and just do it. Do it the chicken. And what does this do? Uh, it just helps with chicken being juicy, <laughs> not dry. It keeps, you know. With the moisturizing, so there's nothing like a really dry chicken. Okay, so I put a little more of this. You have your uh, your, your chicken brought there, and then what you do is just put some more of the seasoning if you like, just like that. And then now, what you're gonna do is place the chicken in the hole. <laughs> and the, um, just place it like that, and what you just put this wings 
two bags of this three so, together. And I have to go like that. We're cooking the two chickens and this baby. Bomb is pork mom. Wow. Why? Because I don't always barbecue, but when I do, my family wants me to barbecue and tie a cow and tie a pig and dozens of chickens. Let's go outside. So, one of, the, one of the, other, the other thing I want to show you, this is a prop. And then, um, okay, so fire. This is a smoker. Okay, this is an offset, offset smoker. Okay, you got your fire over there, and then your cooking chambers over here. I got some water over there because it helps with moisturizing. Is that a, is that even a word? We're gonna cook this chicken, smoke it for ar around. It was 300 when I came. Uh, 300 uh, degrees. It's gonna take around two to three hours to cook. Okay. So, wh but what you do? Place your chicken right there. Can you do this with any kind of grill? Uh, yeah. I mean, this is this is a smoker. Okay. What I'm gonna do is gonna put my cob right between the thighs and the breast right there we're gonna look for a the, inter no, the temperature. internal temperature of 170 okay you can do this with just a regular meat thermometer yeah. you don't have to have the super fancy eye grill so get your uh you will and just put it in the fire box Perfect. and that's gonna provide this the smoking we're gonna try to cook this at a 300 degrees again it's gonna take a lot about two to three hours we're gonna look for, inter for internal temperature in the breast uh, 170. So the more you open, you think that, that all the heat is gonna come out. So it's gonna change the temperature. And that's actually what, uh, one of the factors that, are, that, 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 that makes the meat to be dry. The product is go it's, it's all the way down touching to the bone because it tells you that temperature right there. You gotta, you gotta check that temperature right there. Because it's, if, if, if it reaches 170, 165 right there, it means it's, you know, sometimes when you cook chicken, that it's kind of, it has like blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's because some people just taste the, taste the temperature in the outside. They, they go deep in, meaning, yes, you got 165, but they not Only the out, the yeah. so you want it all, all the, the way, way through because it to means the bone. It's, to the bone because it means it's, it's cooked. This is where you start playing with fire. <laughs> to do it, you close your vents over here, you know, because fire i'm gonna give you this air you know so the more air that goes into you know the, the faster the, the, the chocolate is gonna burn this is the cool thing about these baby over here okay you see that you mean that awesome thing your wife gave you yeah that so this is the thing you see this prop over here is the chicken the probe the probe this is the chicken this is chicken over here at the top you see chicken mm -hmm. and this is my internal temperature you see that that's a killer right there that is killing that's my cook. That's when you were opening it up and closing it, right? And that's when I and that's when I put the pork. You see, it, it requires more heat. Oh, so when you put the pork in, it brought the temperature of the whole thing down. Yeah, cooking spray. But the chicken, why? It keeps the skin all moist. That's in part, you know, it keeps the skin all moist. So right now, chicken is. You can see this 149. Temperature's been pretty steady. It's been between 290 and 300. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's going. It is going. And now let's do some some cooking spray. So so my skin. No my skin, the chicken skin stays. Moist. There you go. That is going, baby. Look at those bad boys. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Chicken. That looks delicious. So we set it over there and we let it rest for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Some people will leave it 10, 15, 15 to 20 minutes is fine. We are also grilling veggies. Mauricio has put some veggies on with some olive oil and spices. And this awesome grilling pan that's made for the grill. You can buy all these things on Amazon. I will put links to them down in the description box.
like a chicken girl and I'm going to have the legs. You're going to eat the chicken legs? Yeah, because they're more good. Than they're I'm more not going to have that slanting part because I never eat slanting parts. What slanting part? Right there. I'm going to eat the legs because um, they have handles so you can eat them. It smells fantastic. This is hot. There you go. That's splashy juice. Duh. That is a juicy chicken. That's awesome. Don't squeeze out all the juice. <laughs> Look at that. Chicken. Look at that. Look how drippy and juicy that is. If you do say so yourself. No, no. Look at this shirt. That's okay. awesome. Why is this not focusing? Oh, why? Because somebody got juice on it. Could you clap for the audio, please? Could you clap like a Latino man? And we're gonna have a big dinner like Thanksgiving at school. And if you don't know who Miss Ollie is, um, she's one of the teachers in the barn. Not where animals live, where people go to learn and have the, you know, snack. I like my glasses. This is how I roll on YouTube. This is what Wendy really looks like after a day at work. Yep. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in this kind of video, I do them all the time on my channel. So make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I'm putting two videos up so you can keep on watching. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.